Hey family, Sir here, and today I want to give you a quick tip on how to raise your credit score by up to 100 points in 15 days. On this channel, we talk about money, real estate, and all things Charlotte. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the bell notification so you can be alerted for when we drop new videos. So about credit. I have a full in-depth credit breakdown in the pop-up right here, or also you can check it out in the video description. But today I wanna to give you an easy and actionable tip that can raise your credit score dramatically in a very short time frame. Now, before we jump into it, if your score is already in the high sixes or above, this will improve your credit score a little, but it will not give you that 100 point boost. But if your score is in the 300s, 400s, 500s, or even the low 600s, then yes, this will increase your score substantially. Now I'm talking about credit today because it is one of the biggest hurdles that I get from people. It is the down payment or their credit score that's stopping people from buying a home. Now, I don't know your background and I can only speak for myself, but I personally was not taught the game of money and credit. And in my household growing up, um, my mom provided me with a loving household and taught me a lot of virtues, but money and credit was not one of the things that we learned about and I don't fault her at all. I am very thankful and grateful for my upbringing. And I realized that she could not teach me what she did not fully understand. But I believe it's my duty to inform and just educate others so we can all know about this game of money and credit. So we can be in position to win the game. So to raise your score dramatically in the next 15 days, you need to do this correctly. The first thing I want you to do is find out when your statement date is due on your credit cards. Now, if you're unsure what the statement date is, it's simply the date that the credit card companies report to the credit bureaus. Now, every credit card has a different statement date, so be sure to make a note and just keep it handy for each statement date for each one of your credit cards. I apologize, my phone went off. But now that you have your statement date, now let's talk about the credit card limits and the outstanding balances for each card. Let's say you have a $400 limit on one card, but you have a balance of $350 on that card. Yes, you've been making minimum payments on that card every single month. And yes, that is a good first step. And that's a good thing. You should be making the minimum payment or should be making a payment every single month on all of your cards. But your credit score will not increase or increase dramatically because of the high balance or high utilization on that card. Again, remember, credit is nothing more than a game. And you have to know the rules of the game so you can play the game in order to get the highest score possible. So instead of paying the minimum balance on the due date or the statement date, pay an amount that leaves the card's balance anywhere from 2 to 20% of its total limit. For example, let's use the same $400 card limit. By the time of your next statement date comes around, be sure that that balance is no more than $80, preferably lower than that. If you are getting any value out of this video, please be sure to hit that like button so it lets YouTube know that I'm providing valuable information and allows them to know to share it with other people. Now, I think of this scenario like this. When I was a kid and my siblings and I, when mom was gone, we used to chill and not do our chores at all. But we knew that by the time mom got back, we had to make sure all of our chores were done and that the house was clean. This is no different. If you want to use your credit cards, do so, have fun. But just like I did as a kid, I made sure that the house was clean before my mom got back. Make sure that your credit card balance is very low, anywhere from two to 20%, preferably two to 15% of the card balance just before the statement date is due and the credit card reports to the credit bureaus. Now, if you do this, you will see an increase in your credit score dramatically because credit utilization makes up 30% of your credit score. It's just below payment history, which is 35% of your credit score. Again, be sure to check out my full credit breakdown and guide at winning the credit game so you can not only be approved for what you want, but be approved with the best rates and best financing available for real estate, cars, and whatever you want. I hope this was helpful and be sure to check out some of my other YouTube videos. Talk soon.